Three key issues from three different comic book publishers make up this Bronze Age report for May 19th to May 25th, 2021. The first featured key issue in this report is Scooby-Doo No. 1, which was published by Gold Key Comics in 1970. The story in this issue was adapted from the TV pilot episode, with cover artwork from Jack Manning and story artwork created by Phil DeLara. The debut issue of Scooby-Doo features the first comic book appearance of the Scooby-Doo gang. Fred, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. A mid-grade copy of Scooby-Doo No. 1 recently sold in an eBay auction. The book was graded at 5.0 Universal by CGC one of just 23 copies to have received that grade from CGC. The comic book sold for $900. The next Bronze Age key is Incredible Hulk No. 271, released by Marvel Comics in 1982. The cover artwork was contributed by Al Milgram, while the story was written by Bill Mantlo and drawn by Sal Bouchema. There were several first appearances in this issue of Incredible Hulk, but the one that makes this book a key issue is the first comic book appearance of Rocket Raccoon. A character similar to Rocket Raccoon first appeared in Marvel Preview No. 7, but that character was simply named Rocky. A high-grade newsstand copy of Incredible Hulk No. 271 recently sold at eBay. The book sported a 9.8 universal grade from CGC, one of 378 copies with that grade in the CGC census. The book sold in an auction for $1,401. Rounding out this Bronze Age report is Swamp Thing No. 3, which was published by DC Comics in 1973. Bernie Wrightson contributed the cover and story artwork, while Len Wein provided this Swamp Thing tale. This early Swamp Thingy issue features the first cover appearance and first appearance of Abigail Arcane, along with the first full appearance of Gregory Arcane, aka the Patchwork Man. A nicely graded copy of Swamp Thing No. 3 sold in an eBay auction last week. The book was graded at 9.8 Universal by CGC, one of just 22 copies to have received that grade from CGC. The book sold for $2,025.